Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's sprawling capital. Listen carefully. There's more to the sound of this city than the hooting of ramshackle blue caps. Sinishal Legese, an upcoming Ethiopian jazz musician, is going to give us an inside look at his hometown. What we see behind is Taitu Hotel. It is the first modern hotel in Ethiopian history. In this old hotel, in a lounge called Jazz Amber, people used to play jazz music seven days a week. I once was lucky enough to play there. A revival of jazz in this house uplifted many artists in the country. This place has had a huge impact on Ethiopian jazz music. Ethio jazz has survived decades of political upheaval and, more recently, the burning down of its legendary headquarter, the Taitu Hotel. For years, local and international jazz aficionados mingled here to tunes made famous by Jim Jamusha's movie Broken Flowers and played by Mulatu Astetke, the father of Ethio jazz. For Seneschal Legese, it's an inspirational place. To compose my music, I often get ideas from what I observe. What I see in the city is my inspiration to write my music. I often wake up early in the morning and observe things in the city while I'm walking. My music is a recollection of these observations. There's certainly plenty to write about in Addis Ababa from the historical monuments to newer additions like the light railway. The gleaming skyscrapers and coffee houses of the upscale Bole district give the city an air of urban modernity. And yet, many of its residents struggle to make ends meet in what is still one of Africa's poorest countries. Ahead of his jazz session tonight, Sinishao needs to visit Shiro Meda, another quarter of the city. It's a shopper's paradise, full to bursting with traditional clothes and souvenirs. Well, this musician wants to look his best after all. How is it? It's nice. Thank you. Come back again. You're now our customer. OK. Thank you. Sinishao is heading to tonight's jazz concert, armed with his new purchases. Perhaps being decked out in the colors of the Ethiopian flag, green, yellow and red, will give him some more last-minute inspiration. Performing with well-known Ethiopian composers like Abigasu Shiota and his renowned band members is a privilege. On the bill tonight is a song called Addis Abeba Bete, which translates as Addis Abeba, my home. <laughs> Tonight, Seneschal is doing what he loves in the city he loves. Tomorrow, he'll be on the hunt for more inspiration, a D-style. Oh.